What's up guys, welcome back, it's Cybernight here, your Technic Games Crusader, and I have my Oculus Quest 2 headset here, as it currently is, with my mods on it, which I'm about to call this rear, the way that I have it set up, I've made some changes minorly to it since the last video, you know, if I slide it off of here, Yeah, with this not attached up front, which I'll go ahead and I'll show you. And having, well, first off, I have a silicone uh, face interface cover that came with this padded top strap cover. And um, that's temporary until I get some thicker ones in to test that are actually made for the size of the uh, Quest Fit Kit that Oculus released. So I'm about to call this the Scorpion Strap for the reason of, if you look at it from the side, this looks like a scorpion tail. Because it just kind of like curves forward. And here's the... Uh, Modifications I was talking about I made I've got my original quest headset pad in there And I've got it attached right here On the uh, side straps here Go ahead and I'll Move it back where I had it To right here Well, almost. I'm going to stop looking through the viewfinder of the camera and actually line it up proper here just to uh, get it done and get on with the video. There we go. So that's fully attached now. And I can scoot it back. Takes a little bit of effort where this right here is suede, like it's very soft, rubber coated type filling material. And what I'm looking at today to add to this is, well, I've got the halo, I've got the deluxe strap on the back, I've got the extra padding, the top strap pad, and then I have this extra long, because I have a large head, uh, padding that came with the... Uh, this which I'm using and now I have this so this came in today professional stereo base VR headset one pair for quest 2 and what that is came as first off this little cable clip that I'm not going to be using because everything that I needed was already in what came with the halo strap. Which was extra little rubber foam pads, adhesive backing, that I'm just going to uh, slip into cutting one in half and show you what I did. And the only reason I have this in is for testing while I'm waiting on 
till next June whenever the VR ears is available to ship out finally. And this is what came, guys. And here is what I added just to be able to grip the sides on these for the front of the headset. So, as you can see, it is made for the Quest 2 because it is only one 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And now you have, I would say about half an inch of padding and about three eighths of an inch total surround inside that it moves to the edge. But these are made with a 3D printed mount and this is cast. So the 3D printed mount is made to be compatible with the Quest 2. It has these little gel rubber pads here that it wants you to use, but they are not large enough, or rather the railing size is too deep to be able to stay on the original Quest headset. So it says it'll work with the original strap or the Elite Deluxe strap as well that Oculus released. This is not the official Oculus one, so this is way too small, just so you can see for effect. I'll release it here so you can see. As you can see, you know, there's a good few millimeters gap top and bottom that this won't stay attached and it has nothing to be able to hold it in. That's fine because we're just going to apply it directly onto the sides here. We're going to crank this back in. And it where we're not using this, the little cable clip, what I'm going to do is I always run this strap behind the halo strap. So, like this. And then I'll get these attached on here. And if you've not seen the way these attach, is those same little pads, like that came with it, it had extras just in case but with what already was applied was perfect so I've never had these slide off and I've shaken my head a good bit doing VR so we're just going to apply these and once we have them started just going to grab onto the sides here and bring them forward keep this tucked down that way we have uniformity in color design and this doesn't get in the way like that and all the way forward so once this is all the way forward now we'll connect this strap to our back of our headset and where this is layered I have multiple ones here we'll pull it through And now, we can run this back through here. And now that's all attached. And now, what I'm going to do to run these, first off, this is the right hand side. 
So we're going to do it next. Here's our left hand side. It comes with it facing the back end, goes towards the back. So it goes on like this. And what I'm going to do is have the cable going frontwards. See where I've got this pad? I'm going to lift this up and here so you can be able to see as you can see it'll slide on but I don't want it to do that way I want it to compress over that pad like this and then there we go it's on and it's compressed so from here these have rotation to them as well as it has a spring-loaded hinge as you can see down there so yeah it's designed so it'll be able to fit most applications but I'm going to run the cable here run it right through here after I plug it in sorry guys So we have it plugged in, and to get this cable hidden now, I'm just going to run it up like that. Here's the cable going to the right side. Now, I'm going to drop down the headset for the rear. I'm going to bring it over to the top of the strap and then under to the outside, just like that. And now, instead of using the little tab it wanted me to, I can just put it all the way down in there. And now, it's all out of the way. It's not going to be in the interface. See, this is the reason I don't like this one. Where it was included with a kit of multiple things, it's just a, a, a temporary thing. So... We have here is our strap. I'm going to a press to apply. And slide on. That one's in. Now notice these will come loose so just to get the extra cable out of the way wrap it around wrap it around just like that so now we have a little bit more Frankenstein headset and I am not 
going to be using these for mainstay, like I said, only until the VR ears are available for release, or that I have crowdfunded and pre-ordered. But, yeah, in a pinch, this is how my headset currently looks. Completely padded. From here, and I can probably bring it in some more. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to uh, give you an update on uh, how my Quest 2, Franken Quest 2 is coming along. And hopefully I can be able to get some better guides on getting these. Or possibly find someone that has a 3D printer that can print rails that actually fit and are designed for this headset and not for other parts of other things. But guys, this is Arbonite, your Tekken Games Crusader. Hope you guys have a good night, good day. Take care. If you celebrated uh, Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving, or Dudesgiving in the past bit, or if you've just been able to spend some time with people you care about. Hope it's been enjoyable. Take care. We'll see you later.